What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a Tyranitar Excadrill team. Uh, I'll try to link the creator below, but I saw this over on Gene's channel, so I'll at least link uh, that video. Uh, basically the idea is, Tyranitar sets up sand, and Excadrill goes fast and hits hard. That's the idea. Uh, we've also got Zamazenta here with coaching, which can make this Ogre Pond, Tyranitar, and Excadrill hit even harder and bulk them up. Uh, it has wide guard. It's a very supportive Zamazenta. This is the kind of Zamazenta I think we'll see a lot of in a double restricted format. Uh, we also have some other stuff here. We've got Fluttermane with Imprisoned Trick Room to counter Trick Room teams. We've got Iron Bundle, which is our main form of speed control here, other than Excadrill just zooming in the sand. Uh, and we have Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's a great support mon, a great mon in general, a great receiver of coaching, because if you coach Ogre Pond and Terra it, you get an attack boost, defense boost, and special defense boost. Uh, a couple things to note here that are a little different. Excadrill is Stellar Terra and has Earthquake, which can do a ton of damage next to like a Wide Guard Zamazenta, or if you Terra flying your Tyranitar instead of terra the Excadrill, you can avoid Earthquake that way. And Tyranitar is not Assault Vest. It actually has Helping Hand and Clear Amulet, so it'll prevent itself from getting intimidated, which this team is a little weak to intimidate, that's fair. Uh, and you can Helping Hand to just boost damage too, which is awesome. Anyways, I'm super excited to play this team. Let's get on to it. Alright, we've got a Terrapagos team with Regid Drago, that's cool. Uh, they've got Hearthflame Ogre Pond, they've got an Urshifu, they've got Indeedee Female, and Whimsicott. Uh, what am I worried about? Whimsicott could be like a fake tears mon. Um, Urshifu is probably water to make a fire water grass core with that ogre pond. Uh, their only way to turn off the sand is by terrastalizing their, um, Terrapagos. And sand can help chip down their thing, so I actually... That ain't bad. I'm a little worried about a Regidrago opening. Which makes me kind of want Fluttermane. Tyranitar can maybe take a hit as well. Zamazenta can definitely take a hit. Zamazenta's great here. Oh, I just need to watch out for taking too much damage too early. But maybe it's Tyranitar, Zamazenta, Excadrill in the back as a closer. And then is it Ogre Pond? Can't really take hits from their Ogre Pond. I mean, Fluttermane get its sash broken. I think it might just be Ogre Pond just to take on Urshifu. It's either that or Bundle to take on Urshifu. Uh, I'm not gonna take speed control right away. If they want to just go Tailwind, Starstorm, they're gonna go first. And they don't have a trainer card even, so I mean, come on, man. Come on, man, Navidad 1. You had time to change your outfit. Oh boy, here it is. Okay. There's Terrapagos. We have Wide Guard. Do I throw Wide Guard right away and start hitting? I don't hate that idea. I'll just start with a Rock Slide and a Wide Guard? Or should I coach up in Rock Slide? Save the wide guard for turn two. That might be better. Rock slide. Coaching. Oh, they are burning Terra right away. I should have wide guarded turn one, but this is probably fine. Uh, if they want to try to encore me into coaching, wide guard actually will go before that, since wide guard is plus three priority, I believe. And yeah, this gets rid of sand, but you no longer have your shell, so I don't really care. And it's just Tailwind, okay. I was more worried about fake tears. Uh, Earth Power, okay. Into Tyranitar, okay. Okay, you're spexed. Yikes. Watch out for that thing. All right, decent damage, decent damage. Well. Seems to me like they could finish off Tyranitar with a Moonblast and switch their Earth Power target. So maybe I go into Ogre Pond. 
Rastalize? Oh, I'm scared to Terra. I think they're locked in, though. With how much damage that did? I'm scared to do this play. There's so many ways this could go wrong. If they're, like, not specs... Oh, they might not be specs. If they're not specs and they go for, like, Encore Star Storm... Oh, I'm, I'd be so stuck. If they go for, like, Fake Tears, Earth Power into Zamazenta, that... I think we could take that. We're bulky. Zamazenta can take some hits. Oh, it is Encore! No! Uh, and it is Earth Power, though. That's probably into the Ogre Pond. That's good, at least. I can take my Weather back if I want it. And, I mean, now you gave me a coaching, so... I don't mind that too much. Horn Leech. Uh, let's keep an eye on those Tailwind turns. Two more. We KO Whimsicott next turn, we're golden. Horn Leech into Terrapagos. Get some health back. Sacrifice Tyranitar. Uh, Terrapagos Swap. Is it a water type? It's their Ogre Pond. No! Oh, I should have just cudgeled then. Oh well. Uh, they can Encore that now if they want. Oh, uh, but I could follow me Rock Slide if they don't take out Tyranitar, and I don't see them taking out Tyranitar here. I just protect Whimsicott. I don't care. Oh, I'm in great position to follow me Rock Slide. If you want to Encore me into Horn Leech, you're actually going to Encore me into Follow Me, which is also annoying. But if I double connect this Rock Slide, you're in trouble. You already Terrad? You could swap something in, I guess. But it's also your last turn of Tailwind, so losing Whimsicott here would be a big deal. Follow me. Rock Slide. Yeah, I like that. You have Tailwind, Protect, Encore. Probably Move Blast. That's a pretty standard set. <sighs> Encore's so strong. Oh my goodness. Encore is a great move. Everything that gets Encore can viably run Encore, basically. Even oh, I've seen Ogre Ponds win games by just being like, aha, I have Encore. All right, they want to save their Tailwind really bad. So much so that they're willing to risk their Terrapagos. Like, it's not like Rock Slide's going to Oko your Terrapagos, but... Power Whip's going to hurt. Uh, actually, that didn't hurt at all. What? The Ogre Pond. Okay, it didn't hurt you much either. No one's taking the damage they ought to be taking here. Alright, your Tailwind is gone. However, that doesn't mean I'm in the clear. Because you can Star Storm, but if you lock into Star Storm, that's bad for you. Um, if you can't take out my Ogre Pond for any reason, you're gonna get cudgeled in the face. If you don't take out my Tyranitar for any reason, you're gonna get Rock Sliding. But I'm perfectly happy to see you take out both. Uh, you saw your Ogre Pond was... Your Terrapagos is faster than my Ogre Pond! Oh! That's neat. Just didn't expect that. All right, uh, fast Terrapagos. Let's see these stats here. 133, 150. There's no guarantees in this world. Uh, I could Wide Guard Earthquake, but that's going to let Whimsicott get in next to something. But is whatever that something is a threat? What would that something be? Drago is not a threat. Indeedee is not a threat. Urshifu is a threat. I 
think I need to wide guard just to protect myself from earthquakes so that I can earthquake. I could also eat the earthquake damage to get a coaching, but that won't help against Urshifu. Will it? No, because they'll have be able to tail him. So I need to do this. Oh, give me Whimsicott, please. Please give me Whimsicott. Regidrago! I'll take it. I will take that. Because now you have to worry about wide guard. Um, that means you will click Encore on the wide guard, and you can't Encore Earth Power. Um, let's see. What do you go into here? You go into... Must be Whimsicott, right? The thing is, I can take out Regidrago if you don't Tailwind. I think I would need to Heavy Slam the Whimsicott. They must have Earth Power on the Regidrago. I don't know, this is so scary. Okay, no protect from Whimsicott. That's that's a start. It's just Tailwind. That's fine. Draco Me oh they don't even have Earth Power. Alright, get out of here, Whimsicott. Alright, Regidrago is a non factor as far as threats go. But the sand is gone. They can't lock into Wide Guard. They, they can't lock into Star Storm because I have Wide Guard. They have to Earth Power. They have to. So I get to Body Press them. That's gotta be how it goes. You can't Star Storm when I have Wide Guard. You have to read the Wide Guard and Earth Power my Excadrill. You have to. You're insane to do anything else. And Zamazenta might take it, let's be honest. Because I feel like you're choice. And your choices don't click Star Storm. Oh, they clicked Star Storm anyway! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! We both eat it. Draco Meteor is going to take me out. Oh no, they did it! And they're a life orb. Alright, we at least get rid of Terrapagos. They have two whole turns of Tailwind. Don't have... They have minus two special attack. And probably nothing to hit me. They don't have Earth Power. They need to do 22 damage. They have enough Tailwind to outspeed me forever. It's not like I could protect. Go for body press, and I... They don't have any other moves! They only have dragon moves! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! They could have been choice. They could have been, like, scarf. That's possible. <laughs> Why are you quitting now? You know... Why are you quitting now? You know! You knew from the start! You knew clicking Draco Meteor wasn't gonna work. No, you were life orb. You weren't choice. I saw that you are life orb. What... Did you misclick Draco Meteor? Did you forget I was a fairy? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, GG's. <laughs> All right, here we are against that Kyogre Wochian team. That team's been going around, huh? Uh, we have Tyranitar to take away their weather, which is nice. But I do not want to fight a Kyogre. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, Good things about this. We have Wide Guard Zamazenta. That's pretty good. Oh, we can coaching up with our Zamazenta into like Ogre Pond or Tyranitar just to get a bunch of boosts. And then start going crazy that way. I think that's how we have to play it. I don't know if I want to lead Tyranitar. I definitely want to bring Excadrill. Excadrill? 
with Life Orb, Stellar Terra can do a lot of burst damage. Uh, but I have to make sure to time it right. Uh, and I need, I need Ogre Pond, so I think those are the four. One, two, three, four. Uh, but who do I lead with is the question. Uh, I could do Zamazenta Excadrill, do big damage right away, but have Ogre Pond as a swap in for like Urshifu. But I also kind of like... I like Titar in the back. I know, I kind of like that. Zamazenta, Excadrill in front. Ogre Pond, Tyranitar in the back. I think it can work. Now, I'm going all physical, so Wo Chien is a little bit of an issue. But, I mean, it should be okay. If I remember... Ah, oh, boo. Uh, I mean, Wo Chien usually has a Terra that is weak to ground. So if I bait out the Terra, Excadrill's great. And if I don't, I can body press it. Alright, and here we are, right off the bat. There's Wo Chien. There's the threat. Um, I could go ahead and delete Grimmsnarl with like an Iron Head, but it's not going to do much, honestly, because it's going to get Reflect up before I can do anything. And then I'm going to stop caring. So I think I'm going to coaching my Excadrill. Oh, I don't have Iron Head, I have Rock Knight. Okay. I could protect. I don't know if Wo Chan's going to attack me, though. I want a coaching, and I think I'll throw a Rock Slide just to get some damage on the Grim Snarl here. I know it won't be a lot. There's going to be Reflect, and there's going to be the. Yeah, I didn't think Wo Chan would protect. So I didn't see any. I guess I could have protected. I'm not sure what Wo Chien wants to do. But the chance of a flinch is also nice. Alright, we get to see how much damage that does. Not a whole lot. And we do get the flinch, which is awesome. Alright, I think I want to play this slow. I want a coaching again and just protect. I've established that Excadrill is a threat. So I feel like they're going to target now. And coaching goes through protect, in case you don't know. Thunder Wave misses. Nice. Very nice. Good dodge, Zamazenta. I think they probably just Thunder Waved because they didn't have anything better to do. Spirit Break isn't going to do anything to either of these. Light Screen's completely unnecessary. And yeah, Leech Seed is into Excadrill. Cool. Uh, body Press is weakened by the Tablets of Ruin, by the way. So, it's not going to be huge damage, but damage is damage. I'm going to go for the Body Press. I think I want to throw another Rock Slide. Yeah, they're going to Thunder Wave. I mean, that's fine. Uh, I think at plus two, Excadrill has enough boosts that we can just start dishing out. Oh, uh, who are we missing? Who is that? Oh, come on! That's the thing I wanted to hit that, it, that dodges. That's how it always is, isn't it? And they get the Leech Seed. Um... Do I have to get out? Do I have to give up those boosts? How much does this do? Whoo! Big damage! Okay, I don't think I need to give up my boosts. Um, I can cancel Leftovers, though, if I bring in Tyranitar. I could just bring in Tyranitar and coach it up this turn. I don't lose much for doing that, honestly. Because they're going to protect Wo Chien, for sure. And a boosted Tyranitar can also do a ton of damage here. Uh, we're a clear amulet set, not an assault vest set. The assault vest is not being utilized on this thing. But no, clear amulet's cool. Like, I expected them to bring Incineroar. They don't seem to care about that. Uh, they finally swapped their Grim. If this is Kyogre, that's hilarious. I don't know what that is. It's not Kyogre, though. And it's just a protect from their Wochan. Cool. Oh, and we don't get the coaching because we're fully paralyzed. Alright. Well, obviously Urshifu could go for a close combat or a surging strikes. Uh, I could just go for a body press to finish off Wochan. And maybe like a flying Terra Blast? 
Uh, who's faster here? 150 halved. Tyranitar is going first, so I don't think I want to coaching. Oh, and we have Helping Hand. That's nice. Uh, I do think I want to Terra now. That, that's a fine place to burn Terra, I think. I think I want to Body Press here. I'm thinking Terra Blast probably takes their Urshifu. They could Terra here. They could, like, go into... Okay, they're not going into Kai. Okay. Uh, if they Terra the Wochian, I guess that's annoying. Uh, if they Terra the... They're not going to Terra Urshifu. Because that would have gone first. So we're only 84 speed. Uh, they do go for Surging Strikes. That's a good call. I guess I could have gone into Ogre Pond for free, but like... I would rather take this damage and destroy you. Getting potentially two KOs here when you have Grimstar left in the back would be huge. Like, yeah, I'll take some damage here. As long as I can get this move off. If I get, if I get the Body Press 2 and it KOs, which I think it does... Oh, right, Reflect is still up. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, and Pulpera, no! Come on, man. Ah. Uh, that body press could have been big. Alright, but now you're probably scared of Tyranitar, so you might launch another move into that. I want to body press. Do I want to coaching? Yeah, I want to throw another body press at Wochian. I want to get that eventually. And I'll bring in Ogre Pond now. Oh, now they swap it out. Into Kyogre. Okay, they're going for big damage here. So hopefully it's into Tyranitar. It might not be though. I feel like they, they might think taking out my Zamazenta is more important, but I'm glad I got Tyranitar off the field here so that I can change the weather again on them. Yes, it's in the Ogre Pond. Let's go. Give me the body press, please. Through Reflect, it's not going to be huge, but that's pretty nice. Okay, Wochien's coming in 100%, right? Like, right? It's gotta be. I could bring in Tyranitar, who's a flying type here. That's not bad. Like, are you going to try to Surging Strikes? No, you'll go to Wochian on that slot. And your Terra something on Kyogre. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm going to... Body Press the Urshifu slot. Horn Leech the Kyogre slot. This will cover me for- yeah, okay, the Mochian's coming in there. I know it's Grimmsnarl coming in. Are you also bringing in Mochian? No, you're just gonna let me Horn Leash. That's big damage. Okay. I like that. And sure, you launch a Thunder, which doesn't do much. I mean, I'm a Zamazenta. Who's still alive? Oh, these Paras! Oh my goodness. Oh, Lord. Alright, what's this Reflect looking like? Last turn. Goodbye, Grim. You're out of here. I- no. Heavy Slam. The Grim. Ivy Cudgel. The Grim. Grim needs to go. Okay? If I can get rid of Grim, no more Reflect. Thunder Wave? We got- well, you're not got, getting the great accuracy on that, huh? Is this enough? It is. Let's go. Uh, now Heavy Slam's not gonna do anything to Kyogre. Should've body pressed as the follow-up. Thunder into Ogre Pond, that's not nice. Oh, there's the Para, okay. So you basically got your Thunder Wave anyway. Heavy Slam is gonna do nothing. Now you can pretty easily Pollen Puff yourself up. Don't like to see that. But I can bring in Tyranitar, get rid of your weather, while I Horn Leech, right? No, I can body press your Kyogre while I redirect a Pollen Puff. Yes. As long as there's no full para here, that works. The 
for Terra Grass. Okay, you're trying to take the uh, Horn Leech after the Pollen Puff, but that's not what I'm going for. As long as I don't get full Parrot here. Follow me, that's good. That's step one. It is Pollen Puff. I mean, that's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna KO. And it's not gonna heal your Kyogre, more importantly. Thunder, I will take that. As long as I get this Body Press, I will take that. Yes! Bye, Kyogre! Get out of here! Oh, yeah. Let's go. Whew! Alright, now I can I can bring in... I think I want to bring in Excadrill first, and then swap in Tyranitar. 140, 280, that should be plenty. I hope I'm strong enough. <laughs> now that the Reflect is gone, I think I should be strong enough to take out Urshifu. So yeah, bring in Titar. Make sure I go first. And I'm gonna go High Horsepower. It's my strongest damage output. Like, I could Earthquake, but the Earthquake damage into Wochan isn't gonna be meaningful. And the increased accuracy is nice, but it's weaker by a significant amount. Because 75% from uh, spread damage means it's actually 75 power on the Urshifu versus 95 from the high horsepower. Let's go. Get out of here. Okay. Wochian versus the world. That doesn't mean I win. <laughs> Not quite. I can still definitely see myself losing this. Leech Seed, dodge? Oh, I've been getting so many dodges this game. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Uh, you're faster than my T-Tar. I don't like that. Uh, I think I go for Rock Slide for the flinch chance, even if High Horsepower is stronger. High Horsepower is... Bounce it? No. No, Rock Slide is actually slightly stronger, huh? Terra Blast is by far my strongest move here, though. So I'm going to Terra Blast, and I'm going to Rock Slide. I could knock off to get rid of the leftovers, but it doesn't matter. They cancel the battle. They know they can't win. Let's go. Let's go, Excadrill. That was a fun game. All right, we've got a very cool team with Khan Calder. Uh, they also have Pow Knight. Uh, they have Rillaboom, Tornadus, Kyogre. Okay, so it's Tornadus, Kyogre, Pow Knight, and then a... Rillaboom and a Conkelder for some reason. Okay, Tyranitar, Excadrill. Uh, uh, oh boy, this is gonna be a hard one. Uh, Zamazenta is great against absolutely everything. I love Zamazenta here, so that's a good thing. However, Pow Knight does a number on the rest of my team. Uh, I need Ogre Pond to beat the Kyogre, but they have so much good stuff against Ogre Pond. And Tyranitar Excadrill... Not looking great, if I'm being honest. Uh, Zamazenta lead with... Ogre Pond. I can coach it up. Tyranitar Excadrill in the back. Kinda am looking at Bundle too, though. I mean, a Terra Dragon. If I was Terra Ghost, I would look real hard at that. Just like for the Dragonite. Completely walling the Dragonite, being able to avoid Fake Out from Rillaboom. Oh, she's a good character. She, she puts up the, the X and like, uh, and what does she say? I don't know, tell me in the comments what she says. All right, let's start with a coaching and a spiky shield. Kyogre's just protecting, cool. What are you gonna do, go for Bleak Wind? I don't care. Next turn I can Terra and start dishing out big damage. Yeah, it's a Bleak Wind and I'm faster than you. And I can wide guard that Bleak Wind if I want. 
Yeah, I don't even need the Terra. Oh, it's Hurricane. Never mind. I need the Terra. I need the Terra. I need the Terra. It's not. That's, that's, don't even. I need the Terra. Okay. Who's faster? I think it's Zamazenta. Yeah. Oh, that's a real. It's a really slow. I mean, who faster are you? My whole team's slower than that Kyogre. They don't need Tailwind. <laughs> uh, but I do like another coaching and a Terra. And I'm gonna throw Horn Leech. I know that like it's the most obvious thing in the world, but either they're slower than me or they're not terrestrializing. You should be faster than me. On a team like this? You should definitely be faster than my Overpond. Do you want to be max speed to catch booster speed Fluttermane after you put Tailwind up? Okay, you're not tearing. And you're going for Water Spout. That's gonna hurt. But it's not that bad. It's not nearly as bad as what I'm gonna do to you. <laughs> Cool call though. You, you read the Terra, but I mean, you didn't get much out of it. Goodbye. Taking your restricted down. I took a lot of damage, sure. But Zamazenta did a lot here. Uh, I can turn on Sand to get your hur make your Hurricane useless if I want. I could. Let's see. Who else do you got? It's Rillaboom. I mean, is there any reason not to just? Try to coach again? And throw a spiky shield? I don't see why not. I mean, they have Tailwind up right now. I'm stalling that out slowly. Hurricane probably takes out Zamazenta. Yeah, it's fine. I can bring out Tyranitar, and then you have two things to worry about. Yeah, Woodhammer. Woodhammer's gonna hurt! I'll give you that. But I'm at plus two defense, and I'm very tanky. And you also have a whole Tyranitar to worry about now. I guess I lose my rain boost, but oh well. Yeah, this Ogre Pun, I believe, is very, very tanky. So tanky. Look at those stats. Oh, wow. And I'm at plus two, and plus two. And plus one? So tanky. Alright, let's... Let's knock off the Rillaboom and Ivy Cudgel Tornadus. Ah, uh, they hit a hurricane! That chip might- Oh, and it's got the duckies! Not the duckies! That might put me in Woodhammer range, honestly. It did! Ooh, that's rough. That's really rough. Ah, oh, now I wish I had gone for a Rock Slide? Would Rock Slide have been better? Uh, knock Off will do a ton of damage, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get rid of your Assault Vest. And the Sand Chip will break any uh, potential Sash anyway. Plus, Excadrill should be faster than Rillaboom. Oh, they could set Rain, though. That would make them faster. Because they got the Tailwind. But I have the Sand. I don't know. It's not looking good. Rock Slide and another Rock Slide. Uh, here's a Terra. Tornadus? He's worried about Rock Slides? The Steel. Yeah, I guess you're worried about Rock Slides. Uh, it's not like I'm going to Earthquake with the grass on the field. I can high horsepower you, though. And Rain Dance. Yeah, you're gonna try to delete Tyranitar here. You're probably gonna take yourself out in the process. Oh, I think you're probably confident that whatever you have in the back can handle Excadrill. Could I have read that and gone for High Horsepower? That's really my only play there. Hmm. At least they have to contend with their Tailwind being up, but, like, they can put that up pretty easily now. Oh, I don't know if I brought the right stuff. I took out a lot of stuff that beats Excadrill, though. Oh, I didn't take out that, though. Yikes. 
There's no way high horsepower KOs that. There's no way Rock Slide does enough. Yeah, I lose this one. That's for sure. Come on, Mega Crit. Whoa, hold on. That did a lot of damage. A crit might have killed. Oh, they just go for Hurricane. Does this do over half? Well, I'm faster than you anyway. But yeah, now you're going to take me out for sure. Okay. It looks like that is crit range. Okay. Excadrill, you had a shot there. You do a lot of damage. Crit there, take that out, and then you take out Tornadus? That could have worked. All right, that was closer than I thought it was. GG's. All right, we've got a Ice Rider team with Suicune, Rillaboom, Comfe. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Uh, Incineroar and Dragonite. You don't usually see lone Dragonites in this meta anymore. Nothing to turn off my sand. Not really looking like a Trick Room team. Oh, I like Zamazenta a lot. Like, what do they do to Zamazenta? They burn it. That's it. That's all they got. Uh, they can burn a lot of my team, though. Uh, how do I stop Incineroar from burning my team? If I had Taunt on Fluttermane... I have Imprisoned Trick Room on Fluttermane, but I don't want to go that route. I don't know if they're, like, hard Trick Room or not. They're, they're not, like, hard, hard Trick Room. Uh, Bundle also seems fine. As long as Rillaboom doesn't show its ugly face. Which it will. Maybe I could go with Tyranitar first. Pick up some big damage into Calyrex or force a Terra out. Along with Zamazenta. And then have Bundle and... My Mole in the back. Yeah, I think that's fine. Fast back end and... Uh, damage in the front. I mean, all my mods do damage. Oh, no trainer card. Come on. Uh, I guess my worst fear would be... Oh, they really boom instant. Don't love that. They probably want to Will-O-Wisp something. But we get the whole speed situation there. That's great. Everyone has an ability. Don't have any protects to get around the fake out. But I think... I can just go for Rock Slide. Try to even flinch Incineroar if possible. But I think you would want to go for a Will-O-Wisp and a fake out onto my Zamazenta. So I can actually get Zamazenta out here. I know I lose the boost. No. I'm gonna try to rock slide coaching. Hmm, yeah, they're going for a Terra. Terra onto Insin. Into Ghost. Okay, yeah, they're faking out Tyranitar then. So I kinda like what I did better now. I can hit that with a strong knockoff next turn. Oh, uh, ooh. What's this? They're not going for any fake outs. They're going straight for a wood hammer. Ow! That did so much damage. Oh my goodness. Oh. Good rock slide. Get a flinch. Nah, uh, it's just a will o wisp and it connects. Done. Rillaboom took a lot of damage from that, which is great. I'm going to heal up a little bit, and then I'm going to turn into a flying type and knock off that Ensign so it can't do that to the rest of my team. Meanwhile, I'll throw another coaching. The extra defense boost plus becoming a flying type, I should definitely be able to take a hit from Rillaboom then. And they seem to know that's coming, so they're out of here. Into Calyrex. Cool. You already burned Terra. I can hit that pretty hard. 
in the future. Oh, an instant swapping too! Okay, maybe I'm not gonna take a KO here. Hitting Comfey though, that's great. Actually, not taking a KO here is great. So that means I can throw a powerful Rock Slide next turn and your Calyrex just has to sit there and take it. You and got no fake out on the field. I can plus three Rock Slide you next turn if I want. Knockoff did good damage too. Oh, your Rocky Helmet. Ooh. No, I think I'm gonna be in range of Draining Kiss now. Yeah, I'm probably in Draining Kiss range here. Uh, I guess I could Heavy Slam Comfey and still go for an attack on Calyrex. Like, I don't need to just not do it. Oh, I'm also minus one. Go for a knockoff on the Calyrex. Heavy Slam Comfe. I think I'm in Draining Kiss range though on T-Tar, which is really sad. Rocky Helmet. Putting me in range, probably. Alright, uh... Draining Kiss. It was range. Oh, it was a crit, so... I might have been in range anyway. Um, what's Calyrex gonna go for? Are you gonna go for Trick Room now? I just have fast stuff in the back, so I don't like that. <laughs> oh, and I don't get rid of Kompei either. Oh, they don't set up Trick Room though. Oh, so I don't really care. You didn't really do anything there. Kompei going down here? Yes, it is. Uh, I was fine with you still being alive. I would have allowed it. I don't really worry too much about the sand. Excadrill is going to be faster than the rest of their team anyway. Oh, but do I want to go in here when they have a fake out turn? No. I want to go into bundle. Yeah, I don't want to get intimidated. And yeah, I'll get my speed boost, but speed, I'm already a little bit faster than their team. Uh, how am I ever going to take out this Calyrex? Oh my goodness, uh, probably with Hydro Pump and Body Press eventually. I guess. You can fake out on whoever you want. I was probably going to miss Hydro Pump anyway, so I don't know why you chose that. Body Press will at least do something. It's like a fifth. Leech Seed Calyrex. Oh, I'm never breaking that. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have Leech Seed Calyrex. No. You're kidding me. That ain't right. That's just not right. That is not okay. Oh my goodness. I need to coach Excadrill. So I need to get rid of Incineroar. Uh, I can't take out Incineroar in time. Uh, I guess a couple Hydro Pumps will do it eventually. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna bring in Excadrill now. Oh, wow. That's gonna be so hard to break. Oh, do they? I bet they have like. No, they have high horsepower Leech Seed. They probably have Protect Glacial Lands? Or do they drop Protect entirely? Protect and Leech Seed just go well together. Hydro Pump connects. Good damage onto Ensign. They have a bear. Knock off into Bundle. That's not going to do much. Leech Seed into Bundle. That's fine. Okay. Uh, that sand was helping. I don't like that it's gone.
How's this grass looking? Oh, it's gone from the field. Uh, I want to bring in Zamazenta and protect. Because I feel like they're going to want to burn Excadrill. They're going to want to Leech Seed Excadrill. I don't think there's much they can do to punish Zamazenta coming in other than bringing in Rillaboom this turn. And even then, that's not a hard punish. Okay, they bring it in. It's it. They punished me here. It's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Rillaboom doesn't have much health left anyway. Glacial Lance. Okay. Just trying to do some damage. I get it. No big deal. I'm fine. Uh, I think Coaching Rock Slide is the key play here. But I don't know. Like, I either get a defense boost or I get a chance to flinch. I'm gonna get the defense boost. Okay. Hopefully I can take a high horsepower into Grassy Glide or whatever. Oh boy. It's looking bad. This Calyrex is way too bulky. High horsepower into Zamazenta takes me out. So I only get the one boost. Not great. And they do get an attack boost from that as well. Oh boy. Alrighty, so what I need to do is, well, I'm going to die to Grassy Glide. That's the first thing I'm going to do. They Grassy Glide and they Glacial Lance. I throw plus one Rock Slides, because when there's a Rock Slide, there's a way. Protect on Bundle may even be so obvious they read it. They don't. Okay, that's good. Where there's a rock slide, there's a way. I can flinch this thing all day. Or I can miss. The Rillaboom. Could be worse. Give me the flinch to make up for it. Nope, the Haley Seed. I'm never breaking this Calyrex. I'm never breaking this Calyrex. High horsepower, rock slide, rock slide spread, rock slide is. High horsepower is a little stronger. It's not gonna be stronger enough. If I live, I should freeze dry. I'm not gonna live. Rock slide did about half. Horsepower is not so much stronger that it KOs from there, is it? Could be a, could have been a low roll rock slide. They swap Rillaboom. That's interesting. Okay, so they get the Intimidate down. Not a bad play. Now I need a crit high horsepower. Oh, and they protect. How much does Freeze Dry do? Not enough. My focus has to be that Calyrex. But they're healing so much and they're gonna fake out Excadrill for sure. Is that for sure? They could fake out Bundle. If my Bundle had Encore, we'd be in it. I'm gonna Hydro Pump Calyrex, and I'm gonna Rock Slide. I mean, I have the boosts. Yeah, they're definitely gonna fake out there. Hydro Pump connects. That's gonna be decent damage. Oh, that's really decent. And they go for a Leech Seed. Okay. You're taking a lot of damage, Calyrex. You better watch out. I can take out Incineroar here. And you're in range for a double up. You have to protect. 
Are you in range for a double up? Oh man. You're getting so much leaf seed back. Grass is gone. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to freeze dry Incineroar and Rock Slide. Because they're going to protect Calyrex for sure. Yeah, no question. And who did I hit? Oh no, okay, okay. I need to hit the Incineroar, of course. Yep, there we go. Actually, no. Missing Incineroar there would have been... That depends on what they were doing. If they were gonna will o -wisp me, terrible. Alright, they're gonna be back up to full. And I'm gonna be so low that Grassy Glide can just take me out. This is a slow, slow death here. I'm bleeding. Oh, they're bleeding me so slow. It's crazy because I'm still in it. I can still get flinches and crits. Flinches and crits, flinches and crits. Freeze dry rock slide, flinches and crits. Yeah, you have a fake out turn, but they're not even gonna use a fake out turn. They're just gonna grassy, they're gonna fake out. We're gonna waste their time here. And Rock Slide's gonna miss the Calyrex. Crit the Rilla Booming Kick. I don't know if Crit would've KO'd there. And we're definitely in range now, right? Yeah. Good game. Oh, if you stuck around for that, kudos. Oh, cause where there's a Rock Slide, there's a way, so I wasn't allowed to give up. I wanted to give up, but I did not give up. Oh, okay. Oh boy, that's a that's a two-two record for Excadrill. I'll take it. Two and two, that's fine. That's fine with me. Oh, just to be done with that Calyrex. GGs. And we are back. I had a ton of fun. Except against that one Calyrex. Oh my goodness. Whoever invented Leech Seed Calyrex, first of all, can I have that team? Second of all, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> oh, but uh, I had fun playing Tyranitar Exadrill. Tyranitar Exadrill is really good. Uh, it's a little bit weaker in Reg G, because like Tyranitar has a hard time keeping up the sand when the main other weather setters just plow through it. Like, Koridon's gonna tear you apart, Groudon's gonna tear you apart, Kyogre's gonna tear you apart. You can't switch into any of those. Uh, so it's a little weak in this meta, but we still ended up going even. So I'm happy with our, with our games today. Anyways, if you enjoyed, leave a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Uh, and anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.